Hi folks, welcome back. You may be here for the same reason I made the video, and that is you went looking for hand sanitizer and you couldn't find any. There was none in my local area. So I quickly went online and did some research and I found a recipe offered by the World Health Organization for making your own hand sanitizer with ingredients that you already have at home. We're going to use isopropyl alcohol, we're going to use hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to use glycerin. Now, you have this if uh, you use it for removing makeup or moisturizing. Now, I've taken the uh, recipe that the World Health Organization has up there, and I've reduced it down a lot to we're going to make a quantity of about one-third of a cup, something you can pour into a small bottle. Uh, yours may be getting low. All right, so we're going to get started right now. We're going to use 75 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Now, I have 91. The World Health Organization recommends 99.68%. That's, you can't really find that. However, the CDC uh, has reported that 60 to 85% isopropyl alcohol in this formula is very effective. We're going to use 4.5 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to use 1.5 milliliters of glycerin. We're going to mix that up. And uh, you can add a little bit up to 100 milliliters of water to this formula uh, if you break down the World Health Organization recipe to this small of an amount. So, all right, so I have poured out 75 milliliters of the isopropyl alcohol and I have poured out 4.5 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide and to those I'm going to add in 1.5 milliliters of glycerin and if the water that you can add is up to 100 milliliters I'm not going to add the water that's an option and the glycerin is also uh, adjustable and um, it helps it to moisturize the skin so just pour the peroxide into the alcohol and you're ready to stir in the glycerin. And I'm just going to pour in an approximation of about half the size of this pipette. This pipette is three milliliters. So right about there. Mix it up. Once you have it thoroughly mixed, you can pour this solution into a, another container with a closed top and use it the pump and perhaps the spray as well. All right, this is one of those share light crazy uh, formulas you want to let everyone know about and uh, pass along the information. Okay, and uh, take care. Bye-bye now.